so hello guys today we will see how to work on the etabs okay etabs is basically a your structural analysis software so first thing is from where we can uh, download the etabs just come on your chrome and search get into pc okay uh, from the get into pc you can download the crack software actually just come here and search for the tabs so here have, uh, you have you can see the tabs version of 2025 24 23 22 and 21 and so you can download what kind of uh, software you want which version you want okay and if i come to here on the tabs 21 so here you come at the down here you see the download option from here you can download the tabs and here is a how to install the software you can see the video how to crack the software actually okay so from the get into pc you can download the tabs and here you can see how the video how to crack it or you can watch on the youtube as well okay so here i have the etap 21 version so i just open the etaps so okay so first we need to know the uh, long form of the etaps okay etaps the long form is extended three dimensional analysis of building systems okay there are two mainly softwares which are used for the structural analysis that is stadpro or uh, stadpro or etaps okay so etaps is especially used for the multi story building design offering advanced features for concrete and steel structures within the buildings okay and uh, Stadpro on the other hand is general purpose tool suitable for analyzing a wide range of the structures including bridges, buildings and other infrastructure. Okay, so here is open existing model or new model. Here is, uh, you can see some models which are, uh, I already created and work on it. But uh, here we will create a new model. So just click on the new model. okay uh, this kind of uh, pop-up you can see so just click on the use built-in settings with here is here you see the us job customary australia and chinese force but we want but we want to design the building for the india so here you do uh, here you select the materials of units and the dip, uh, region for default material i will select the india and skill section data i will select the india and steel code we are using in the India that is IS 800 2007 and the concrete design code will be IS 456 2000 press that here okay so these are the basic settings metric SI India Indian steel code is IS 800 2007 and for concrete code IS 456 2000 select uh, click on ok uh, so here are, you can see some options blank grade only and these all but uh, mainly we use custom grid spacing and uniform mainly we are using custom grid spacing but we will see in upcoming lectures now we are using uh, uniform grid spacing because this is the first class uh, here is the number uh, number of grid lines in the x direction and here is the grid line in y direction so that means four grid lines in the x direction and four in the y direction and spacing of grids in x direction and y direction so that's meant the distance between uh, two grid lines okay so i will just do a four meter here and here you see the story dimensions bottom story height typical story height is three meter and number of stories how much you want uh, let's do we want five stories here you see the bottom story height let's consider we want to give a plinth so 1.5 meter height for the plinth okay and typical story height is three meter and number of stories is five okay so we are uh, giving this data and just click on ok so just wait a minute uh, 
uh, it will uh, take some minute to load that here you see the plan is loaded but uh, still uh, here is it, uh, the 3d uh, the tabs have two different views two different displays small small displays okay yeah uh, here you see the plan and here you see the 3d view so what kind of uh, things we do in the plan view that you can see in the 3d view okay here you see the lot of options here if you don't get these options starting uh, at the starting when you download the software so uh, nothing worry just right click here uh, on this panel right click and here you see the options when you uh, turn on this uh, this all options you can see uh, here is a customize just click on this and from here you can select so this uh, lot of options can uh, see you here just click on ok so basically the what kind of uh, here is this here you see the uh, reads in the x direction 1 2 3 and 4 what we start uh, given at the starting and same in the y direction 1 2 3 4 okay and we give the 4 meter spacing between that uh, spacing between the, uh, that grid is okay now uh, first thing what we will do we need to define the materials because uh, our building will be made by the concrete or steel so we need to define the concrete and steel okay so here here, here is the option of define so just click on it and here you have the material properties just click on that here you see the some properties are already predefined uh, we need to click on the add new material here is India we want to click on the rebar here is the Indian and here you see the HYSD steel 415 what kind of blade we want uh, let's I want HYSD 550 just click on ok and do not make any kind of changes here just click ok uh, click on add new material again because we now we, uh, we already assign for concrete but uh, sorry for the steel but now we want to assign for the concrete so here select the concrete Indian and what kind of grid you want let's I want M25 grade of the concrete so click on that and click OK 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 so materials are defined now we uh, need to define the section properties uh, like the frame sections which are our columns and beams and slabs what is the kind of thickness of slab so let's go to define section properties frame section and here you see the some a uh, lot of stuff here uh, we do not want that or we can delete that delete multiple properties and select them delete. click ok so uh, click on the add new property uh, here you see the different shapes a uh, rectangular circular t shape i shape but we want the rectangular so just click on it Here you see, uh, just uh, give the name. I just I am just giving for the column C two thirty by four fifty size. Okay, and now select the material that we already uh, defined that is M twenty five. Okay, so this is a property name only, and what kind of uh, sizes we give we can give here. Okay, so width width of the column I will do a two thirty and depth will be 450 and here is the option of modify show rebar click on it and here you see uh, select on the column because we are defining the column from here i will select hysd 550 that's we assign in the material as well okay and uh, do not make any kind of changes here just click on okay click okay so here you see column is defined and this property we do not require just delete it okay so column is defined now i want to define the beam i will click and uh, click on uh, again add new property rectangular and from here i will give the property name that will be beam 30 by 375 i want uh, this kind of uh, size of the beam i will choose my material m20 by concrete grade i will do a bit 230 by 375 and here I will click on the modify show rebar. Now I will select the beam here because I am designing the beam and I will select the HYD 550. Okay, always remember to select the beam when you are de designing the beam. Here I will do a cover of 40 and 
this is the not not just a normally cover normal we provides the clear cover that is 25 mm for the beam and 40 mm for the column but here you see the cover to longitudinal rebar group centroid that's mean the cover plus the centroid of that bar okay so 25 plus that uh, bar of the centroid if you are 16 mm bar then half of that plus 25 mm so you will get the, you will get that kind of value you can just put it just click on okay click on okay so my column and beam are already defined I just click on okay now i have in the slab so define section properties and here you have the slab section option uh, here you have, you have some so i just delete them yes okay uh, add new property i will uh, give a name of slab 125 i want slab uh, thickness 125 mm so i can do here 125 uh, i will select my concrete grid that is m25 and here you see the option of shell thin uh, shell thin for the two way slab we use for the taps and membrane for the one way if you click on membrane here is the option you will get one way load distribution but when you define the one way slab then you need to select this but here you see i have the span of four meter by four meter if i divide the longer span by shorter span so i will get the value of two four by four then i will get value of two and value is uh, two or less than two then it will be two way slab so all all slabs are my two-way here so i will define shell thin for the two-way slab click ok i will delete this blank one i don't want it click on ok so my properties and materials are defined okay so i need to assign that properties right now uh, here you see at the bottom here is a one story option i just click on it and i just do the all stories okay because why I do all stories because when I will give the property uh, that property will be assigned to hold the whole structure okay so here is the option of the uh, quick draw column just click on it and you will see the property of the column that is C230 by 450 okay and you see, here you see the orientation of the column in the horizontal direction but I want in the vertical direction. So what I will do here is see angle degree. I will do the 90 here and enter. Now here you see the orientation of my column is in the vertical direction. So I just select like this. And here you see in the 3D my all columns are generated. Okay. Now I want to assign the beam. Now here is the option. Quick draw beam. Just click on it. And here you see the property C230 that is column property, but I want beam. So just uh, click on here beam 230 by 375. Here is the option is selected all stories. I just draw like this. And here you see in 3D my all beams are generated. Okay. Columns and beams are uh, assigned, but uh, now I want to assign the slabs. So here is the option of the quick drop floor and wall. Just click on it and here is a here you see deck i want to slab 125 mm just select that here is all storage option and just draw like that just wait a minute and here you will see your all slabs are generated here but there is one mistake uh, because uh, the pieces uh, here you see at the plinth level and the uh, base level these are uh, there are uh, we do not uh, generally provide the slabs because our slabs are starting from the uh, first story RCC slab on the plinth level we just do the PCC not we provide the RCC slab so we need to delete the slabs from the, uh, these two particular levels so if I right click here and if I go to add modify grades here you see the modify show story data you can uh, modify data I just click on it here you see the base story 1 story 2 and up to story 5 I just go to story two, story 1 and I will give the plinth on the upper story. I will do the ground floor that is GF, then first floor, then second floor, and at the end that will be my third floor. Okay, so this is how I give on the names. So here you see. 
the base and the plinth height is my 1.5 meter and the typical story height is 3 meter and here you see the elevation 13.5 from the base so my, my building height that will be 13.5 meter i just click on refresh view here you see and i will just click ok uh, again i will click ok so now i want i will delete my plinth and base slabs okay so here you see i am on the third floor right now in the plan view here you have two options uh, which you uh, can go in the upper side and here is the down arrow you can so go the down side so i want to if i go to upper side i directly come on the base here you see that is uh, we just now edit the name that is base we will uh, if i select the slab that will select the whole slab of the structure but i just want to delete the slabs on the base level so what i will do i will select from here one story okay if i choose the one story option and i select the slab it will select only the ground floor slab that is the base slab so i just select the slabs and here is the option of delete i just delete it okay the slabs will be deleted on the base level i will use upper key arrow now and i will come to the plinth level here is the plinth and one story option is activated and i will select the slab and i will delete because on the plinth level uh, we do the pcc and all loads uh, uh, generally goes to the uh, soil okay that is not much transfer uh, transfers to the beam and columns we do not provide the rcc slab so okay so we have the four slabs right now one two three and four okay so if you want to see in 3d just click on here on this window just click here and here is the option here you see extruded view toggle click on it here you see the columns beams and slab all things you can see in the 3d now i just come here on the plane and i will go to the base again by the down key arrow and what i will do i just select like this okay so my all base are selected and here you see the one story one story should be selected and select just this because we assign the supports on the base level uh, just go to assign and here is joint restraint and here you see the different supports uh, we provide fixed support to our columns so just click on the fix this is sign of the fixed support here you see all are checked just click on apply and ok ok uh, I just pop this extruded view again and here you see the cross sign that is that means the fixed support is assigned to this building okay so this is the modeling part basically the modeling part is done okay so uh, our first video is completed here uh, uh, and lot of things to see we will see in upcoming videos thank you guys and, and stay tuned for the next videos